More than seven years of research worth more than a billion dollars came to an exciting conclusion Sunday when OSIRIS-REx safely dropped off NASA's first asteroid sample back on Earth. The capsule traveled billions of miles to retrieve samples from the asteroid Bennu in hopes to understand the origins of life. This is the beginning of that, you know, space it being a frontier that we are starting to now uncover the mysteries and we may learn so much. All smiles at Lockheed Martin Mission Control in Colorado after OSIRIS-REx successfully returned with a 4.5 billion year old asteroid sample. Hundreds of miles away at the landing site in Utah, the sample was taken for further testing. It was uh, once in a lifetime kind of a thing for me personally. Mountain View's NASA Ames Research Center Entry Systems Technology Lead Raj Ventakapathy was there for the landing. His team's Pika heat shield technology for the capsule helped lead to the safe return of the asteroid sample. It was one of those things where you know it's it's you're bringing back something that was created at the time of this, this solar system was created. And for that reason, the sample is incredibly important. Not only will it allow scientists to understand more about this asteroid that has the potential for impact with Earth in 159 years, but the sample will be shared across the world in order to learn about our creation. So this is what we think contributed to the creation of Earth. What other chemicals are there with this, this samples that we have? So they may tell us a lot more about how we all began. Osiris Rex will remain in space for its next asteroid mission, and it's the start of more exploration to come. We're going to go to Neptune, to Uranus, to Saturn, and all of these to Titan, I already mentioned, which is a mission in preparation. So these places, these each one of these missions adds us so much so that we can do those missions. Dustin Dorsey, ABC 7 News.